Austin just checked us in at the front desk at Paza. Beautiful front desk. And now we're getting a little bit to eat while our room gets ready. We'll show you guys where we're staying. We're staying right on the Blackfoot River in a beautiful house. Um, I can't wait to see where we're staying. And catch some fish maybe, possibly, Philip. Try to go catch some fish tonight. I got everything rigged up and ready to go, so it wouldn't be hard to spend 45 or a minute or an hour out there. But first, some food. Just finished lunch, gonna go check out the lodge. See you guys up there. Hey everybody, we're here at the Blackfoot River with Matt, our fishing, fly fishing guide. And he's gonna get us all tuned up on how to fly fish. We're gonna put in here at the Blackfoot and uh, we'll catch you up on if we start catching them. Normally we're in the current. Fishing in the flow. All right, guys, we are re-rigging right now. We're going from that dry fly to a bobber setup. I'm not gonna talk much about it. I don't know what I'm doing. Literally a bobber. Don't let them fool you. Purist fly fishermen will call them a strike indicator. It's a bobber. So basically what we're gonna do is since they're not coming up too often, and it's pretty cold out here, the water temp's about 50 degrees and needs to be warmer for that dry fly action to happen. What we're gonna do is put one of these little gumballs on there so we can drop deeper. It's called a turd. So that's gonna have some weight, that's gonna get us down deep, and then we're gonna drop another fly off the bottom of that uh, so we can get it way down to where the fish are. We wanna start picking some up, so we're gonna go deep. Is it taking drag? Yeah. Oh He's, still He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Oh, now you're on a rock. Ah! That's a good one, Philip. Oh yeah. Woo yeah, nice, dude. Yeah. yeah, let me get us the fuck out of here. <laughs> Fish, Philip. Oh yeah. It was awesome, guys. And awesome. Right, right back in the net. Right back in the net. Good little stretch. Release. There you go. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That was awesome. Nice, Hell dude. yeah. One money shot for the That's camera. Awesome. See that little itty bitty bit of orange right yeah. on his chin? And what does that so, mean, man? Cut bow. Little freckle. Yeah. Right there. Cut bow. That's Sweet. awesome. That was so cool. Oh, my God. It's a bull trap. Yeah, get that tip up. Oh, yeah. He's not on it. Dude, yeah. He's not on it. He's not on it? No. Can no. I just troll it? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was uh, so cool, dude. Oh my god. What I'm talking about right there. That's really, really cool. Oh yeah, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. This is so much fun out here, guys. <laughs> yeah, you always told me you hate fly fishing. You know what, what though? I, I feel like I'm actually, Matt's got me so dialed. Yeah, man. I feel like I'm actually fly, fly fishing. Fuck, I'm so sorry, guys. Damn it. I got snagged and I was trying to get it out and film. 
It just made a mess of everything. What are you doing back there, Pat? Oh yeah. But I got stuck. <laughs> yeah. So when you're casting, by all means use two hands. Yeah. But once you get back in there, you get that man in there, get that finger back on the yeah. trigger, so then you can just strip that line. Yeah, yeah. Right by my head. Oh, I should have. Pat's got a really big one on, guys. Big boy. There you go. Come on, come on. Nice. Dude. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What is that? Cut bow. Cut bow? Yeah. Dude, that's a bitchin' pat. Oh, that thing's a slug. Holy shit. It's a big one, yeah. man. Do they get much bigger than that? Not really. Not in this one. Really, really. Oh my God. Man, he just slurped that thing, didn't he? Look at that cut thing, bow. Pat. A yeah. cut bow. That was awesome, dude. And Matt told slide me how to do it. Slide him right back in the net. Such a bitchin' fight. That's a big fucking fish. Way to go, man. Hell yeah. Thanks so much, man. What a way to... You know, we're wrapping the trip up here, and we're getting towards the end of it, man. That, that, if that's not a capper, I don't know what is. So we ended up having a tremendous day out here on the Blackfoot because of Matt. You know, all my thanks goes out to Matt. You can contact the resort at Paws Up. Ask for Matt. Matt, what's your last name? Spangler. Spangler as your guide if you want to have a unique experience like we did today. So what did you think, Philip? You know what, man, I loved it. Came out today begging for a spinning rod. Matt convinced me <laughs> I, I am a fly fisherman. And uh, let's see what we learned. We'll maybe make a video of us uh, fly fishing off the bank. Yep, sounds good. Competition has started. All right, we're on to station number two, and it is four to four to one. Me and Connor went three for four. We're tied at 11. Patrick needs two to tie. He needs two to tie. That's good. That's good. You got it? Yeah. Fucker. <laughs> Uh-oh. Connor decided to go first and went two for two. <laughs> Uh-oh. A little behind us. Uh-oh. Two for four. That's what I need right there, baby. for shooting skeet and we all had a little competition. I came at 17, Philip, what'd you get? 15? 13. And we all had a blast under Eric's instruction at the resort at Paws so Just book the, the sporting place activity for that. And this is the walking course we're on. You can kind of see if you want to show on the stand, kind of get a picture of the view and what we're shooting from. Can't get much better than this. I won, so I'm having a great day. These two guys got to get something else, so. I'm the cornhole champ, doesn't matter. <laughs> If you hear weird noises out here, there's nothing to worry about. It's usually just some type of animal or uh, nothing dangerous. So just keep fishing. Hey guys, we are out here early this morning. Patrick already caught a beautiful brown. 
that we didn't film, but we put the picture in right here. Patrick is going with a dry fly to nymph? Yes, that's correct. And I mean, look at this beautiful scenery, man. You can't see. Sun's coming over the ridge. Conrad and Nick are down there. They got a fish on the bank. This is why I love this place so much, and now you know, Filler. I can't agree, man. I, 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 it's, I can't agree. It's just beautiful, man. It's, it's awesome. So hopefully we catch some fish, guys, and we'll check back in. Man, just look at the forage around here. Pretty cool. The river's right behind me. Just nice trails out and everything, so. See if we can get some more going. Oh boy, it's trying to swim upstream. That's how you know it's a big one. Good rainbow. That's a good one, Filler. It's not that bad. Okay, good. Oh, perfect. You gotta watch that line. The break. Wow. Oh, that's a cut wow, bow. Beautiful. Cut bow. Yeah, it's got the line and the, the cut. On any rod. No, it's a good one. Whoa, nice one. Oh, Connor Dell was in the drink. The ground trout, right? You can take it out now. Yeah. Ground trout? Put down the fly rod. I gave into the spinning rod with a rooster tail. And I think I am tied into a good fish here. Crushing them. It's a big rainbow. Oh, I lost the... Ah! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but it's working. So we're going to keep going. So we're walking up. Connor just caught one on the spinning rod. It's a good one. It is a cut bow. It's a cut bow. Beautiful. Nice. I'm gonna nice release fish, it. Conrad. How, how fun was that on the spinning rod? It was nice. Came there he goes. Wow, nice fish. I, I just missed one that big, dude. Wow. Oh, it's a big one, dude. It's jumping out of the water, man. This is so cool. Look at him go, Conrad. Film it. Oh. Is it big? Oh, I got that. Nice rainbow. I think it's a rainbow. Letting him tire himself out, no need to rush it on the fly rod. And again, Matt hooked us up, man. Oh. Oh, come on. Damn it. That's a Montana brown, baby. Big brown trout here up in Montana. Conrad fell in the water, taking one for the team to land this fish. I'm gonna get the hook out and get him released real quick. Another good fish on, guys. They're, the big ends are out to play right now. God, that thing's beautiful. You can get some more. Another beautiful fish, man. And I, I think it might be pure cutthroat. I don't know. I'm not a big trout guy, but we're going to get this guy back in the water, released, and gone. So there's some weird stuff going on here. And in Bigfoot terminology, I think I just heard a wood knock, which is a kind of like a call that you make for... Bigfoot. Nothing, nothing so far. Last day, the resort at Paws Up, trying to get a couple more fish in. I got a little white fish on it. But man, what an experience this has been. And not only the fishing, there's so many things you can do, but fighting these fish on the fly rod has been a blast. Still don't know how to really do it. <laughs> what you sitting right there? Give him a little kick. There he goes. All right, dude, definitely a trip for the books. And I can't wait to get back to this beautiful place.
<laughs> Connor. Connor, Connor's still stuck over there. <laughs> Connor's been stuck over there for 20 minutes. <laughs> He's immediately up. <laughs> Hey Phil, look at me, it makes it better. Like hey, watch oh. your cord! <laughs> hey, what happened? Is she's coming to help you? Yeah. You're all tangled up. <laughs>